All right, in this video, we are going to be repairing and restoring this Apple MacBook Pro. Now, I actually got this machine off eBay for only $30. Now, this is a pre-NVIDIA GeForce 8600 MGT model, which means this one has an, in, has an ATI Radon X1600 graphics card. Now this graphics card is not prone to failure as is the NVIDIA 8600 graphics card is. However, this one is uh, suffering due to heat issues. Um, my presumption is that the uh, heat sinks are clogged with dust, um, resulting in the GPU getting a BGA failure. Now, I did get this machine um, as a parts machine, of course. I knew it didn't work. Um, and one thing I wasn't expecting is that it, along with my MacBook in the previous video, also came with the original box. This is one side of it. They shipped it in this box, which, eh, I was kind of upset they did that because, yeah, it could have gotten stolen pretty easily. But luckily that did not happen. Um, now I'm just going to go ahead and plug it in and show you what it does. Now, I did remove the battery but there is memory install so um, go ahead and open it this machine did come with two gigs of memory so that's its maximum um, overall it's in pretty nice shape the keyboard is in almost perfect condition trackpad is <laughs> a slightly worn but for the most part is fine it is a glossy screen model as you can see there so I'm just going to go ahead and turn it on now. And it does actually have a hard drive in it. I have no idea what the size of it is, as I can't boot into an OS at this point. But, um, yeah, I'll show you what it does now. Alright, as you can see, there is a bit of artifacting on the screen that appeared to have gone away there for a second. And if you look closely at the flashing question mark folder there, you can see that it is quite badly artifacted and glitchy looking. So it is indeed a failing, or not failing, but a uh, dismounting GPU, I guess you could say. Um, it is just in need of a simple BGA reflow, the heat gun, which is what I'm going to be doing with this machine. So it shouldn't be much of a problem. So I'm going to go ahead and shut it down, get it taken apart, get the logic board out, and I'll resume the video once that is done. All right, as you can see, I have now removed the logic board from the machine, which is right over here. And you can see the heat sink right there on the bottom. Now, as you can see, it is a little bit dusty, and I will definitely be cleaning that, but unfortunately, it isn't clogged like I was hoping because now I'm kind of skeptical as if this will happen again, even if I do clean it out. I mean, it could be because of this extremely dry heat or thermal grease right here, but yeah, I'm not sure. I'm going to give the machine a good cleaning, give it a BGA reflow, as I said before, with a heat gun. By the way, this is the ATI graphics chip right there. Um, I'm going to give it a good reflow with a heat gun and then uh, get the machine back together. So um, I guess I'll just go ahead and resume the video once that's done. So. Yeah, be back in a little bit. Alrighty, so as you can see, I have cleaned off all of the thermal compound off these chips here. And um, Apple did a pretty freaking bad job of putting thermal compound on these because they put way too much on. Because as, as you saw before, it was all like over on the sides of the chip. Like there was puddles of it like over on the sides. So, yeah. And another thing I noticed... Look at that capacitor right there. Well, this is actually normal. It's actually supposed to be like this. When I first saw that, I thought it wasn't. But then I looked around the board more and saw another one. Another one. And then a whole cluster of them right here. So, yes, these capacitors are supposed to be like that. So, um, don't, don't worry if you see a bunch of these on there. So, yeah, I found that kind of weird. But that's indeed how they are supposed to be. So... I will resume the video after the BGA reflow is complete. Alright, I have just finished with the BGA reflow and um, I have not tested the machine yet. I have no idea if this will work or not, but here goes nothing. I put the machine all back together as you can see. 
and uh, it is uh, plugged in too. The hinges are kind of loose, as you can see. So, um, yeah, no, no big deal really. They work fine. So let's go ahead and power it up. screen here. And look at that! It worked! As you can see, the folder is perfectly intact and not glitching up or artifacting. The BGA reflow was a success. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and boot my iMac my Intel iMac over there into target disk mode, plug in a firewire cable, and uh, boot off the Snow Leopard install I have on there. Now, uh, this is a Core Duo, so it can only run Snow Leopard officially. So, I, I actually have a method to get Lion working on one of these machines, and I'm going to be testing that and probably making a video about it. But um, for now, I'm just going to test it with Snow Leopard, so I will be right back. Alright, I've gotten my iMac in target disk mode and a FireWire cable plugged into it. So let's go ahead and power up the machine. As you can see, the display is still in perfect shape. Go ahead and select Snow Leopard here. And wait for it to start up. This is my first ever successful BGA reflow, so this is pretty freaking cool. I can't believe this worked. So we'll just wait. And actually in the listing on eBay it said it did not come with a hard drive. And it actually does have the original 100 gig hard drive in it. It's just been formatted. But as you can see, we have successfully booted into Snow Leopard. So I'm just gonna, I'm not going to join a Wi-Fi network right now. As you can see, it is working just fine. You can see that the applications are running in 32-bit mode, of course, by it not saying 64-bit over by the Intel um, name there. You can see both CPU cores are detected. 2 gigabytes of memory. This is the maximum memory this machine can have, and that's what it came with. Or it came with 1 gig, but I got it with 2, so that's pretty nice. Go ahead and open Safari here. Um, let's test the animations. Yep, the animations are perfect, as you can see there. So it worked. Quite unbelievable. Anyways, that is the repair of this 2006 Intel Core Duo MacBook Pro. Hope you enjoyed this video.